Hey everyone, if you're here, I'm going to assume that you have an Insteon hub that has stopped working way too early. Seems like these things um, have about a two year life expectancy because of poor quality control and some cheap parts that, are, that they, uh, they chose to use. Mine died after uh, just under two years and I jumped online just to figure out what the problem was. Luckily, somebody had already found a fix. This is not my fix. I just read about it and I'm going to do it now. Super easy and you shouldn't be intimidated by by uh, doing this. It requires a little bit of uh, soldering skills, but that's not rocket science. It's so easy. This is the C7 capacitor and that is the one that's generally faulty and needs to be removed and replaced. This is just going to be a quick little visual for uh, the people who read about it but aren't exactly sure what's involved. Um, I recommend you give it a try. So, you got your old capacitor out. Get your new capacitor ready to go. You can see got some long tails on it. I'm gonna cut them lower. The holes aren't completely cleaned up, so it's a little bit harder for them to push through. Especially when you have solder on there, you're gonna have to heat them up to push them through. Try this out, see if it works for me. You gotta make sure that You've got positive, positive, and negative, and negative. This is the negative side of the capacitor. Positive side isn't marked, negative side is. If you look down on the board, you can see the positive, the little plus right here. So just make sure they correspond. Straighten these out. new capacitor on there and we should be good to go. This is a super easy job. But one of the pros for doing this yourself is you don't have to change any of your settings, you don't have to delete your count and add every single new smart item that's in your house back to the new hub. Because right now there is not a way to uh, save your settings and migrate them to a new hub. You gotta start from scratch. You gotta delete your account, delete everything, and start from scratch.